You look like my next appointment. Well, I could tell because you look a little, um, in need of pampering. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But actually, you are the only one in here and I have an appointment in five minutes. So unless you're a walk-in, which we don't get many of those. Okay, that's what I thought. Nice to meet you. My name is GB. Welcome in. Now, I have you in the books for a full head to toe. We have um, a face, a shave. You don't need a haircut today, do you? No. Okay. And then we're going to do, I pick some outfits for you as well. Your event is in... Okay. Yeah, well, if it's in just a couple hours, then we can get you ready now. And as long as you don't spill anything on yourself, you should be good to go. And now, did you need the two outfit options? This is a weekend thing. Okay. So I do have um, a more informal option for you um, for your first outfit. And then I went ahead and pulled a suit for the event tonight. Precisely. Okay. Okay. Great. Well, let me work my magic. This should be a very pleasant experience for you, so don't you worry about a single thing. You can take a seat. I have my station already set up, so what I want to do is start with your beard. So we're going to clean it up, not do a full shave, but clean it up a bit. And after that, after we get it all out of the way, then I'll be able to wash your face, do a little moisturizing, a little trimming of the eyebrows. Yeah, you look really nice already. It's just those little, little things. That should boost you from great to amazing. And it's nice to treat yourself and have somebody else do it for you for once. Exactly. So let's start with that. Now, is there anything that you're allergic to before I pull this out? I'm using Dr. Carver's shaving supply. So this is the scrub, the shave butter, and the post do shave. Now I'm going to go ahead and read the back here. Um, there is walnut shell powder, just so you know. 
papaya fruit extract, pineapple fruit extract. It smells really, 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 really amazing, actually. Grape seed oil, oat extract, willow bark extract, papaya fruit extract, pineapple. Um, just making sure. Barley protein, orange peel extract, rosemary leaf oil, lavender oil. Sheesh, no wonder this smells amazing. And then with the post shave dew, we have cucumber fruit water, peppermint, that'll be very cooling on your face. Prickly pear, juniper, oat, moss, scarab. Okay. Seems like we should be good to go. And you'll actually be able to take your razor home today. We, of course, have a fresh blade for you, and this is one, two, three, four, five blade razor. It's going to be really, really smooth on your face. Have you ever had anyone shave you before? Okay, great. It is my specialty. Oh, yes. It's my favorite thing to do. It really transforms your face. So, it's my favorite part, so I'm glad we get to do it first. Now this is some warm water. You let me know if it's too hot, okay? It should be very pleasant. And is it okay if I go ahead and I'm going to be doing a lot of face touching today? Okay, so we're just going to Just work over your mouth um, when I'm shaving. If I have to clean up around your lips, I'll just have you. So, no worries, no worries. I have never, ever, ever, ever nicked anybody. I told you, I am good. I am good. I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more water. Is the temperature okay? Wonderful. Can I get you a drink? Do you need coffee? Water? Okay. Well, you just let me know, okay? I can have somebody bring it in. That's true. I do hate when they do that. I was at the orthodontist the other week, and they have coffee in their waiting room. And I was like, I'm not gonna have coffee. I'm at the orthodontist. But then the receptionist was like, oh, do you want any coffee? And I was like, oh, well, I can't say no if somebody asks me because I did want coffee. But then, as I suspected, like five minutes later, they call me back and now I feel awkward for having just drank coffee. I get it when you're working close to somebody's personal bubble. Maybe that's not exactly face is damp. You really have to work the moisture into all the hairs. This is our first step, our prep scrub. And all you have to do is put a little bit of this on your face. So these are all brand new, which means you'll have the option to take them home afterwards if you like it. Because this has walnut in it, the walnut, um, let me see exactly, shell powder. The little bits of walnut shell can be very abrasive on your face, so please make sure to only scrub your face once a week. I am assuming that you haven't in the past week used an exfoliant. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to tuck this 
under your shirt here. Okay. And we're going to take this prep scrub. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on your cheeks. And I'm just rubbing my fingers in circles because this is what's going to be doing the scrubbing, obviously. You can't just put it on. You have to do the actual action of exfoliation. And you can go like this. Thank you. I'm gonna get the sides down here under your chin. Okay. And over here. Very good. Okay. So this is going to be rinsed off. So let me go ahead and get another. to have to stand over a sink and splash your face. So instead we have warm towels to simply wipe it away. This is just the prep scrub, so that means um, it's just helping get rid of any dead skin that might be trapped in your facial hair, which is super common. <laughs> and um, it should lead to a smoother shave. Um, yeah, if you're shaving anything, your legs, your face, exfoliating is a really important first step. Hopefully you're not shaving um, your face fully every single day. Um, if you are, make sure you're using a lot of moisturizer. Now the next thing we're going to use is our shave butter. Now this is very buttery and what this is going to do is act as a really smooth agent in being able to trim your beard. Um, in your face, and this is how I always uh, make sure that there are no nicks on my clients. I mean, like, unless you like the nicks, but that's not, not what I'm talking about. So, I'm just going to dampen your face again. Well, <sighs> well, I'm too embarrassed to say. We just get a little bit of the shave butter. I'm gonna give it a smell before I put it on your face. Okay. Now this is really smooth. It is the opposite of what I just put on. So we're just going to smooth this around the edges of your beard. I'll be trimming your mustache. Okay. We're just doing the edges and your neck. So go ahead and look up. You don't want to um, shave your beard right up to the jawline. That looks silly. You do want to have a little bit of a gradient, but clean. Does that make sense? It's fine. I'm doing it for you. Okay. So, with our fresh razor, I'm going to go ahead and get that wet as well. And I just want you to relax. Shaving with the grain of your face, which means downward in the way that the hair grows rather than upward, which could probably 
cause some irritation for you. How do you feel? You alright? Good. Your beard shaves really well. I don't know if it's just shave butter, but it is just really smooth. look really nice. Oh well. So this is a weekend. It is a bit louder. Sorry. Come during a weekday. It's going to be dead silent. Some people prefer that. Some people like a little bit of um, ambiance. Okay. Do you want to get that part that I missed? Can you just go like this? I'm just gonna get this part right here. Okay. Wonderful. Very nice. Okay. I am just going to get this towel damp. looks much, much better. Yeah, because now it goes from like, I haven't shaved in two weeks to this is on purpose and you like it. Oh yeah, we love that feeling. So I'm going to just add a little post shave do onto your face, around your cheeks, on your jawline. all smell incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to bother putting the cap on. I'll just put a little bit on. A little goes a long way. And the peppermint should feel very cooling. Gives you sort of a tingly, fuzzy feeling in your face. Very nice. Step one. Okay. Step 
too is now that we have done that, I do want to wash and treat the rest of your face, so your forehead, cheeks, under your eyes, okay? I have a few things for you that I want to use. Nothing scary. The first is a lemon exfoliating slice. We exfoliated your cheeks and your jawline and your chin and your neck. So now let's do your T-zone, which is down your nose, your forehead, and we'll do here a little bit under the eyes. Don't really need to exfoliate this part here since it's a little sensitive and softer there, um, especially these lemon slices. You don't want too close to your eyes, <laughs> so we will be nice and careful. Exfoliate away dirt and oil residue, one vitamin C and lemon packed slice at a time for bright, clear, happy skin. Okay, so we actually don't need to rinse this, which is nice. It's very, I wouldn't say moisturizing, but it is full of moisture. <laughs> See the little dots on this? That's what will help exfoliate. So, I'm going to go ahead and hold your head still here and just wipe your forehead. And we're going to go down your nose. Down your nose. Down your nose. Okay. Then over here. It is very strong, I agree, but I find that it works really well. I'm um, just going to fan you off. You see what I'm saying? Full of moisture, I know. Okay. And then we're going to immediately give you a spray with our Ultra Calming Mist um, so the acidity doesn't react too much. This is going to lock in hydration and prime skin for moisturizer. So I do need you to close your eyes. You don't want this in your eyes. Okay. Just one, two. That's all you need. And then let's do your eye treatment. This is the Olay Eyes Deep Hydrating Eye Gel. Yes, you should be using an eye gel every single night. You don't want to wait until it gets to be too late, you know. Use your youth while you have it. There's no such thing as anti-aging, you know, you can't go back. But you can maintain, so I'm just going to dot the Okay, how's your skin feeling? Well, the next step is moisturizer, so that's perfect. And then this little dropper. And what I'm going to do is to moisturize is of course your lips. This is actually an overnight intensive lip treatment from Burt's Bees, but you can use it whenever. Just take your pinky, get a little bit, and just go like this. I'm going to pat 
this onto your lips and then go like this perfect alright it may feel like you have a lot on your face right now but the reason we did this first is because skincare will settle the moisturizer will go in you're not going to leave here looking like a newborn baby or anything like that you'll look perfectly refreshed and hydrated speaking of which make sure you're drinking water that'll help okay next 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 i have a couple of options for you we could do your hair or we could go through the clothes let's do your hair first do it all okay i like it all right is a little wet brush if you haven't heard of these they're wonderful they don't tangle your hair very comfortable and this is a travel size so i'm gonna go ahead and brush through your hair it's not gonna be anything crazy Your very nice hair. I think a a cream is gonna be best for you. Um, we can do a little bit of mousse, and then I'm gonna hold it with the cream. Okay. Do you mind if I give your hair a little spray with water first? Okay. Now the mousse. Amazing. Listen, I was going to go through um, scents with you, <laughs> but with all the shaving gel and face creams and hair products, maybe you won't even need it. So this is just going through your hair. even everywhere okay and then I have a little forming cream and this is a it's a hair cream there are many different types um, of hair products you can use you can see that this one is um, it's not sticky like a glue but it's more sticky than a mousse like you just have in your hair so if you want to really form it into like a big style you would want to use heat so i don't think that you need that i kind of want to do something simple on your hair so you want to start from the back and work your way up okay and we're just going to fix little pieces of your bangs and on the side here you really don't need that much no 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 if you use too much you're gonna look crusty Okay. 
some on hand. I'm just gonna wipe my hands off. Um, let's finish up our moisturizing by doing your hands. I think that's a, a part that people often neglect. This is really simple. You can get it cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, just Jergens Shea Butter. Put a little bit in my hands and just hold your hands out like this. And I'm just going to massage your palms. Most people really, really, really need a good hand massage or they don't even know it. Calloused hands, work hard, lift weights, mm -hmm. the back of your hands here. Okay, your nails look pretty good. Oh yeah, the best habit to quit early when you're younger is biting your nails, absolutely. Okay, so hands moisturized, mine too, thank you. Lips moisturized. Beard trimmed. Face and T zone moisturized. How about we trim just a little bit of your mustache and a little bit of your eyebrows? Okay. Sound good? Oh, just, 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 just take a moment. and fixes and upkeeps that will end up making you just look and feel like a better version of yourself. Yeah, that's corny. Okay, moving on, I think it's time to dress you. You good with that? Fancy clothes shouldn't be intimidating, but you do want to find ones that work well for you, um, ones that you like to wear, and ones that fit right. So based on the measurements that you sent in, I pulled four casual shirts that you can choose from. You're going to be wearing your those pants, right? It's a great choice. And I do have shoes for you. Yeah, they're going to match great. You could pick any of these shirts and it'll look really good. You can't go wrong. Okay, can I show them to you? The first is a classic but casual take on the white collared shirt. This is a linen shirt, so it 
is a bit more casual. You don't need a jacket with it. You certainly don't need to wear a tie with it. And it's going to be very flattering and very, um, actually very stylish. I think people maybe are bored. Um, they're like, oh, a, a white shirt. I don't know. It looks amazing, especially when it's fitted well. This one's from Banana Republic. It's a bit lighter. If you tend to get overheated, this might be a good choice. Okay. Well, I'll show you all of them, and you can pick. The next one I have for you is a purple and blue patterned long sleeve collar shirt. This is the most formal of the shirts that I picked for you. I don't know. I, I just wanted to give you a range. Yeah. The purple is really flattering, I think especially with your skin tone. The material is very nice. This won't wrinkle very easily. Um, this is an original penguin. You can see the back here. Definitely a more bold color and print. Okay. Then the third shirt I have for you. Now this is a, to me, this is a flannel. It's a little bit of a dressed up flannel, just in the um, density of the fabric. It's not as thick as a traditional flannel, but you still get the woodsy lumberjack feel, which I think would work especially well with your beard. It's a really nice blue color. It looks, I think, really friendly on. Yep, again, it's got a collar. If you tend to run cold, I would say pick this one um, just for temperature. Right, okay, no problem. The last shirt I have is another classic. This is a Calvin Klein black scoop neck t-shirt. This is going to be very flattering, casual, but very smart looking. Especially if you pair it with those pants and the shoes I gave you. It's really smooth, much softer than um, a normal cotton t-shirt that you get from like sporting event or something like that. And personally, I've been much more into um, solids rather than patterns, especially neutrals. I know it seems like it's boring, but I think it looks really, really good. So you can choose any four of those. Okay, great. And this is the one that we'll pack away because you need your formal attire now. Wise, let me get the box. Okay, so you can take the box with you if you want. You don't need to. I'm just going to show you one of them. These are Clark's. Weed. And I think the color would go perfectly. So this is a little dressed up, but it's not formal. This is not a formal shoe. Um, this is very stylish. I'm glad you like it. I'm so glad. Yep. Just tie it. Your pants should be perfect for it. 
um, make sure to wear no-show socks. However, you don't want to have your ankle-high socks on these flat on these bad boys. No, you do not. Okay, wonderful. I'm so relieved that you like them. So if you're set for that, should we get you into your formal wear? Okay. Well, well, well. Here we have your navy blue bonobos suit. Jacket and trousers be able to go and change into this. I just want you to see it first. When you button up the jacket, just the top button is fine. You can also leave it open depending on the formality of your event tonight. Um, obviously as the night goes on. It's a really nice material. It's light enough where you will not be sweating in it all night. The pants are going to look amazing. Let me show you the shoes I have for it. Okay, I chose a brown shoe. Now, these uh, are going to, of course, class up the suit. If you are something like the suede Clarks, it would make it more casual. This is full formal. I really love the details. The color is stunning. simple tie with this. No, not no show socks. You'll want to wear dress socks. So socks that go high up your leg, probably mid calf. Those are perfect. Okay. I'm so happy. Go ahead and untie this for you. And you can put them on. Okay. And did you need a tie tonight? Okay, it's good to have options. I'll just move some things aside. Okay. Here's our box of ties. These are all of our patterned ones. Yep. We have pink elephants, yellow hummingbirds. Um, oh, this is actually pink elephants. This is blue elephants on a pink tie. We have a double decker red bus on a navy tie. We have a little bamboo check pattern here. Or spiral, almost floral design. We have a little men on bikes. We have a more of a, almost looks like a Celtic knot, a sort of knot pattern. And we have oars as well. Personally, the navy suit, oh, and we're going to be pairing this with a white shirt, of course. Not the linen shirt, a white dress shirt. Mm -hmm. I don't hate the hummingbirds at all. We can also go double navy with the double decker bus. You know what? I think you should go with the hummingbirds. Oh, yeah, I do. Look at how it stands out on the navy. That's nice. That's really nice. And then it'll be fun. If you're not sure you have to wear a tie or not, yeah, this will be a perfect backup. No problem. I'll pack that in with your suit. Okay, so if you're all ready to go get changed, I only have one more thing for you. 
and that is your scent. I know, I know. I already put so much on, but the Tom's deodorant, okay? This is Northwoods Antiperspirant 48 hour wear. Make sure you put this on. I'm going to send you into the bathroom with that. I'm not going to put it on you. You can do that yourself. <laughs> and I'm going to send you along with this. I'll give you a mist just so you can smell. Mm -hmm. This is the lavender and chamomile. Use this at night. Especially if you're traveling, if the room maybe smells a little funky. This will give you just a really quick aromatherapy boost. Um, but lavender and chamomile. Use it when you're ready to go to sleep. Okay. Pack that. And then finally, I'm going to need you to pick your cologne. These are all travel sized, so you can go ahead and pick any one you want. Here's our first one. This is the lavender bottle. This one is on the sweeter side. I think it's youthful, but intentional. Would it help if I told you what notes were in it? Yeah. You sort of just have to smell it. I get that. Here's our yellow or gold option here. This smells woodsy, a little toasted. I really like this for you too. Yeah. I like this better than our lavender. <clears throat> then we have our Fiery, musky. This is pretty heavy, actually. Probably not. Probably not the best. Nah. We do have our last one. This is our clear scent. This is a very fresh, clean. Gold for you. Yeah. What do you think? Here, here's the lavender one more time. I know it's so hard to choose. I agree. I think you should take the gold. It is, I think, perfect for the weekend. Since you do have a more formal event, it is a little bit more dressy, if the scent can be dressy. And it'll also translate really well to the next day, because it's not too heavy. Okay, wonderful. Well, I'll put that with the deodorant and with the aromatherapy spray. I'm going to pack the hair gel with you as well. And is there anything else that you need? You can take the eye cream and moisturizer and that should be your full weekend pamper pack that you can use again tomorrow. Yep. It's all part of your membership. So, thank you so much for coming in today. Are you ready to get dressed? Well, the changing room is down the hall and there'll be a curtain on your left. I'm so excited for you. You look ravishing. 
You can come back anytime and please let me know how your event goes. That's so exciting. Alright, I hope you enjoyed your experience. Have a wonderful day.